Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from Stanley PKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be working with Foltec, the FLTK uh, library uh, for graphical user interfaces. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be showing you in this series of videos how to install download it, install and build it and configure it on your system. You can be using Raspberry Pi, you can be using the Odroid, you can be using BeagleBone, or you can be using any regular Linux machine. So it, it all applies to any of these. So let's get started. Like uh, always, I, I have uh, created a, um, a GitHub page where you can go to Chesco345 here and go into this repository right here and i just created it and it's this this repository and as you can see i created some installation notes that i'm still adding to it but most importantly you get the we get and you get uh, the place where you're going to download it so just copy and paste here and go into your old droid or into your raspberry pi and or your uh, Ubuntu PC and just paste it. And as you can see, it's got the uh, fulltick.org uh, website. It's got 1.34. I recommend that you, st you stick to 1.34. I do not recommend 2.0. I do not recommend 3.0. I just get uh, just stay with 1.34 for now. It's, it's more stable, and is uh, you will get the best support as uh, as of today. It might change in the future, but as of today. So all you need to do is just hit enter, and we're going to get it. I already got it, so I'm going to stop it. As you can see, I created. Uh, directory called full tick so I'm going to go into it and there it is so you have a gzip tar file so we're going to use uh, z. it's a gzip so you got to use z and then xvf then fltk and it's going to inflate it I'm going to remove it. And remove that one. Stick to the directory. Clear it. Let's go into it. And there it is. So now this is, uh, as you can see, it's using auto tools. So it's using the, the batch. It's using configure. And it's using install, so it's, uh, it's. I don't know if you, you, I, yeah, you can also use CMake, but I'm gonna stick to, to using Auto Tools. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to generate, auto generate. So I'm gonna go auto generate, and it's going to make sure that everything is in there. and making sure that I have all the dependencies. And once that is done, I'm going to clear and start over again. And now I'm ready to configure. And I'm going, oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> configure, and all I'm doing is running this guy right here. So let's run it. And now I'm configuring. It's taking over what the Autogen did. And now it's configuring for the compilation. It's all good. Clear it again and see what I have. And now I'm ready to make. So just do make. And now it's going to compile all the files here. And I'm going to stop the video for a little bit so you don't have to wait. So I'm just going to pause it for now. I will see you in a little bit. And as you can see, we're done with the compilation. So we're back here. So our last command was make. So now we're going to do a sudo make install 
to make sure that it's installed throughout our system. You gotta enter your password. It's uh, super rights. And now it's installing it everywhere. Okay, so now let's clear it for now. And first, I would like to do is check something. I, I uh, Before that, let's do a sudo ld config. LD config. Config. And it did the configuration. So now let's check. So let's check our user local to make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. And let's check lib. And there it is. So you want to see that because you want to make sure that that you can call these guys from anywhere on your uh, on your system so make sure they're there and now we're also going to test it so first of all let me check something let's just let's chain check package and no i want to see something oops Let's see what is being shared. And no. So let's check the includes. Uh, let's see. Include. Let's, and there it is. So you have it here. So you want to make sure that all your header files are there. And there they are. So that we're good. We're golden. So we can now test it. And let's go back to our where I created it. And <coughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm getting a call. So now we need to test it. So let's go to my GitHub page. And we're going to, I created something here that I got from the fulltick.org. And it's just a hello file. So you can do the same. You can go into my into my GitHub page, copy and paste. And let's create one. So let's call it nano hello.cpp. And, and there it is. It's just, uh, let me explain a little bit. It's including the full tick. H window and the box is a regular C++ file. It's a pointer window box, and then the, here they're being called. And these are the sizes. This is where they're being created. The size of the window, the size of the box, and inside the box it says hello world. The fonts, the size, and uh, it's gonna have like a like a shadow type of effect. And closing, cleaning after yourself, and then showing the arguments. So nothing that you have not seen before. So now let's close this one here. Save it. Yes. And now to run it, I'm gonna show you some commands here uh, nano read me these are some of the commands that you're going to use like if you're i'm going to be using full tick uh, together with uh, open cv and so there's different commands for each situation but the one that i use the most is this one is fltk this one right here so we're going to use that one and then oops and let me explain it it's using the full tick config is this is one of the flags that is using is just telling to compile and this is the name of the file whatever name you use is going to use this prefix to create uh, the name of the executable. So whatever you call 
the file name is called, that's exactly what it's going to call the executable. Okay, so let's just hit enter. And of, of course, I didn't change the name, so I get an error. So you get, need to change it. And let me check you, let's clear, not to confuse you. So the name of the file is this hello.cpp. So we're going to use that command, but now we're going to call it hello.cpp. So it's going to compile it using all of the flags needed. And now you can see the executable, the binaries right there. So now we're ready to run it and test it and make sure everything is good. And cannot open display. And don't know why it's doing that. And let's look at it. Let's try a, a different flag. Maybe that one is giving me a hard time. Let's try this one. Just in case it's uh, compiler related. So Control X and Control X. And let's use this one. And let's, this is a different one. So I got to name it hello and the name of the file is already and I'm using the standard C++11 so let's see if that one works and that one for sure does not work it doesn't like it at all so it's good that this is happening because if it's happening to me it will happen to you because this is a complete brand new uh, configuration just like yours would be so what's going on let me see I don't understand why it's not displaying and let's do use this one let's use this one and see if that one compiles and let's call it hello That one compiles, but let's see if it actually displays it and cannot open display. I know what's wrong. I did not open the old droid with the um, with the X flag. That's exactly what it is. So let's try it. So let's exit my connection to my old droid. So I'm back into my PC right now. So I'm going to SSH X using the X. And then I'm going to do 192. And I forgot the name. Detroit at. Okay, and now let's try again and see if he lets me. And now let's see if he displays it now. And there it is. This is what happened. Uh, I I did not. I I when I signed into my old droid, I I forgot to add this flag right here the dot uh, dash x and it will sometimes the display being that i'm using ssh will not work it might happen to you it's good that it happened to me so that way you know but this is what you want to see you see the shadow effect on it and you know that your full tick is f fully configured and working properly and this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and follow on me on GitHub and Twitter. And I will see you next time with another tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching.